What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Infinite Warfare In Depth, where we pick up where Drifter left off, Fury Edition. Today we will be covering the assault rifle, the Volk. In short terms, I would call this thing basically a man of war with slightly higher recoil. For this video, I will be using the following class setup. VMC, Quick Draw, Suppressor, and Particle Amp. Highly recommend all of them for hardcore, although I would not recommend all of them for core. As you can see in the video and at the end of the video, you will see that the VMC is very helpful for recoil, especially with this gun. I'm going to show you more about that in the end. But for now, let's get into the stats. The Volks rounds per minute are by far the slowest out of the assault rifle class at 483. Despite a very slow fire rate, the Volk actually has the quickest time to kill in the assault rifle class being 250 milliseconds. However, once you get to 40 meters, it increases all the way up to 355 milliseconds. Again, this is why I recommend you use particle amp with this gun, but I'll cover that more in a minute. Your ADS time for this gun is going to be 0.3 seconds, which is the slowest out of the assault rifles and noticeably slower, in my opinion. Highly, highly, highly recommend a quick draw, and that's what I will be using in this video, as you can see. Your ADS movement speed will be 40% slower, which is the same as every other assault rifle. And your damage drop is going to start at 41 meters. There's only one drop for the gun, so you will not have to worry about another damage drop. The accuracy for the Volk is above average, and the sprint out time from aiming is going to be 0.53 seconds. This is also very slow. If your Volk has extended mags, it can continuously fire for up to 3.4 seconds. In core, you can only get up to 9 kills per magazine, and in hardcore, you can get up to 28. The damage multiplier is the same as every other assault rifle at 1.1 for a headshot and nothing else for any other body, leg, or other shot. So back to what I was saying about range. You're going to want to run the particle amp on this gun because... Its drop-off is kind of early for range, and it's really, really harsh. You go from getting three shots to kill to five shots to kill, and that's all the way at 40 meter, 42 meters you'll be getting five shots to kill, but at 41, the drop starts, and it is very bad, although there is only one drop in the gun. And as, as expected, the damage per second also drops at 41 meters. So that's about it for stats, but personally I really, really, really enjoy this gun, especially using it in hardcore. I kind of found it unplayable for core, although I am only a, core, a hardcore player, so just about every gun's unplayable for me. What I recommend you run if in, core, in a core game mode is Particle Amp, VMC, and Quick Draw. What I recommend you run in hardcore would be Particle Amp, VMC, Suppressor, and Quick Draw. Also, optionally, if you don't want to use one of those, you can switch out any of those attachments for a laser sight, which is greatly beneficial due to the fact that this has the widest hip spread in all of the assault rifles. So if you've been paying attention to the gameplay, you'd notice that my ADS time is not 0.3 seconds, and it seems kind of fast. That's because I have quick draw on, but I'm going to show you the speed of the gun without quick draw and the recoil changes with the VMC, with the foregrip, and without the VMC, and without the foregrip. So right here is me firing the Volk completely naked, no attachments. As you can see, its pattern is kind of unpredictable, and it changes from ranges. When you're in closer range, it's more predictable than it is from further range, obviously. So like the K-Bar, the foregrip is helpful, being that it will make it have vertical recoil. It won't reduce, it, it's not going to have side-to-side -side recoil like you're looking at right now. And now here's the Volk with foregrip. As you can see, the pattern is vertical, and there's not much of a difference horizontally, as you can see before. That, that is without foregrip. The middle one is with the VMC, so don't pay attention to that right now. Also, that one in the second to the right, or third to the right, is going to be the VMC as well. There's not much of a difference close up, and it actually does kind of help, but I do not recommend using foregrip unless you like having vertical recoil which it is more controllable than other recoil, so your call. And now for the Volk with the VMC sight. This is by far my favorite sight in the game. I use it on just about every gun except the MV4 because it's unnecessary. As you can see, the VMC is twice as efficient than a foregrip, except that close range it's about the same as a foregrip. It doesn't really matter what you're using if you're going to go for close range, but it's not often you're going to be in a close range battle, so I recommend the VMC and not foregrip. And that about does it for this video. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. For tomorrow's Infinite Warfare in-depth video, we are going to have the ERAD, 
SMG, which will be the first out of all the F SMGs we have done, and Drifter hasn't even done an SMG, so we're making these videos and we're putting them out. So thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Fury Games HD. Link in the description. Peace out, and have a great day. Scarab active. Enemy UAV in your vicinity. Enemy UAV. Friendly drone support is active. Enemy Scarab active. Your teammate called in Scorchers. Warden providing close air support. The enemy has a drone package. Friendly drone support is active. Allied drone package entering airspace. Friendly counter UAV online. Enemy scarab active. <laughs>